Yes, good afternoon and welcome to today's Vanarama National League South Clash between Hampton and Richmond Borough and Bar City. I'm Mark Stillman. I'll be opening each half from the Beavery with Sam Stevens sharing commentary. Now I will quickly go through the teams because we'll have a minute's silence in a few moments' time, which we'll explain afterwards. Bar City are unchanged from Tuesday's defeat at Torquay United. In goal, Ryan Clark, a back four of Joe Raines, Anthony Straker, Robbie Cundy and Jack Batten. Midfield three of James Morton, Sean Rigg and Adam Mann. And then a front three of Andy Watkins, Ross Stern and John Mills. On the bench for City, again, the exact same from Tuesday. It's Dan Ball, Kieran Hodges, Matt Richards, Frankie Artis and Ryan Brunt. Hampton have made two changes. We believe they're playing 3-5-2. In goal is Tom, Lo Tom Lovelock. Uh, Centre-backs, we think it's Jake Eggleton, Ollie Sprague and Ryan Bray with a midfield of Ricky Wellard, Michael Corcoran, comes into the side, and Casey McLaren. Zach Joseph, Rhys Morrell-Williamson as wing-backs and up front, Craig Dundas and Chris Dixon. On the bench are Hampton, Torian Roberts, Charlie Burns, Dan Barry, Tyrell Miller-Rodney and Daniel Uchechi. The players are waiting either side of the centre circle at the moment, as we will now, in a few moments' time, hold a minute's silence. This is in memory of Bob Hayes, a former chairman and director who had a long association with Hampton and Richmond Borough. His funeral was yesterday, and this is just an extra piece of respect for a long-standing club legend. A very heartfelt tribute there. It's clearly, Bob, a man much loved around these parts. You could hear from all the work he did around the place. I'm sure he'll be greatly missed, and he'll be watching down on this game this afternoon, hoping that his side, Hampton and Richmond Borough, can get off to winning ways. Bow City as well. One of two sides at the bottom of the table with zero points so far this season, although you have to say, Bob, they've been mostly unfortunate to have a zero to their name thus far. Most definitely, Mark, yes. Uh, I mean, th I, I think really uh, two points would be the minimum, two draws that they should have had for their endeavours over the last two matches. It's going to be Hampton to get this game underway, attacking from left to right in their red and navy blue stripes. The game starts now with McLaren, switches out immediately to the left. It looks a bit overhit. Joe Reigns will try and keep it in or usher it behind at the very least. In fact, he's been robbed, but he's gone behind for a throw-in. Bit of fortune there for the fullback. For Mills again to chase. Corcoran there before him. He looks to have been a more defensive role this afternoon. And Adam Mann now striding forward. He's clearly tugged back right on the edge of the penalty box, unless it's for the initial foul. I think it was Sprague who came across. City have a free kick. Just over three minutes gone. Riggs swings it towards the back post. Towards Cundy, it's headed back across and cleared into the edge of the box. Stern shaping up a volley, but he's robbed from uh, number eight, Casey McLaren. Better from City now, down the right hand side with Reigns. Raises it across to Mann. A little, lovely little interchange, and Watkins could be in. Oh, this goalkeeper did well, in fact. Love lock. How they got all those tight pockets of space and somehow find Watkins clear on goal. It's a really encouraging start from Bath. Yeah. Made it forward, Andy Watkins King Joseph under pressure. He's managed to turn away from trouble. It's a ball over the top. This could be useful for Hampton, but Chris Dixon couldn't quite bring it under control. And fortunately for City, Ryan Clark was quick off his line. Yeah. Here. This is Rig puts Morel Williamson under pressure. Somehow manages to find Wellard, who chips it over the top. It's a useful ball as well for Dixon. Flag stays down. Dixon with a driving shot just over the top of the bar. Excellent technique from the former chance of man. Hampton win it back with Wellard, it's another one for Dixon, the chase, Batten, no, it's a bit of a muddle here, the back, Dixon again, no, he's played the ball across, all the way across goal, there was nobody following in, 
Morton to Straker, right on halfway. Back inside to Stern, always wants the ball. Now he's going to press forward inside to Mills now, trying to create some space for himself. Going across goal, still John Mills, and his shot is blocked in the end from Corcoran, who skies it up into the air. Wellard completes the headed clearance. A bit untidy in the middle of midfield, but Joza can try and neaten things up. He's got Dixon trying to hold his line. He does well. He's remained on side as Chris Dixon pulls it back to Joseph, and it's a terrific challenge from Reigns. Holtz play momentarily picked up from Wellard. Joseph on the edge of the box. City got a lot of men behind the ball, but they still find Morel Williamson trying to get inside a straight code. To be fair, has dealt with him very well so far, and City win the ball back again with Morton. It's Rig on the other side of his man, Sprague, charging down the right hand side now, Sean Rig. Cuts inside beautifully, Rig now inside the penalty area, shooting position, it's a deflected behind for a corner to City off Corcoran, and a first bright spell in a few minutes for the Romans. Here's the low ball inside to Watkins, and it's only just gone wide, the final touch was off the Cornishman, Andy Watkins. Ball over the top, Watkins has gone round the keeper. It looked like it had been a foul off the ball on Adam Mann in the middle of all that. The referee either didn't notice it or he tried to play an advantage, where City didn't really have one. Miscontrol, Morel Williamson now on this right hand side, to inside own half. Good ball inside to Wellard. He's going to try and look for it back, I think. It's Morel Williamson and uh, Dixon goes down, pleading for a foul in front of the assistant more than the referee, but neither have given it his way. And City can try and break now if. Sean Rigg down this left-hand side, he's got Stern to his left, Mills through the middle, he's gone for Mills. Finds Stern now coming inside, he might want to shoot Ross Stern, he does, but it's a comfortable save for Tom Lovelock. And with that, I will switch places with Sam Stevens. he will take you through the remainder of the first half. A light breeze descends across the Beavery as uh, Rich Panther Richmond come forward now, a lovely little chip from Joseph just wide from the edge of the penalty area there with his left foot, saw the goalkeeper off his line. It remains goalless here at the Beavery. After 27 minutes, corner to the back post. Looks like it might take a touch, and it's volleyed high and over the bar there by John Mills coming in at the back post. Chip forward by Wellard, the captain. It's given away, and then a, a, a stray ball across the back box falls for Joseph, and a superb save down to the right by Ryan Clark, tipping it around the post for a corner. Probably the best moment of the game, really, from the Hampton Richards point of view. All came about because of a defensive mistake from Barsett. Nice touch by Morton, just guided it away, but it's fallen for Joseph again. He's high, wide, handsome from 25 yards there. Robbie Cundy, Cundy will come, come forward with the ball here. He's got Dixon's company, not with enough force to put any kind of challenge in, but then it's a rather intricate from Watkins in midfield, and they've given the ball back to the home side. Wellard will try and look over the top for Dixon. He's going to chase against Cundy here. Dixon, look, he's being pulled there. Dixon does still manage to get a foot in and loops it over the top of Clark, but over the crossbar. Ball over the top, looking for Dixon. Last chance here for Dixon, really in your goal. Straight at the goalkeeper, comes back to Morel Williamson, trying to take it round the defender, and again, they've wasted it. That was a golden opportunity there from Hampton and Richmond, yep. surely their best chance of the game. Sitting, and as the goalkeeper is taken, it is, in fact, nil-nil and both sides have had chances I think really Chris Dixon will say that he should have scored at least a couple of times for the home side Hampton and Richmond as he came close forcing a couple of saves Zach Joseph also forced a really really good save from Ryan Clark from Bath City's point of view John Mills fired over hasn't been too much else from an attacking sense really apart from a few decent free kicks in positions but really would say nil-nil at half time is probably about right Ryan Brunt waits patiently and will make his entrance without further ado. Brunt immediately gets in on the action on the left-hand side under pressure from Bray. He's going to try and keep the whole ball up or perhaps hit it off a Hampton defender. He's come back to Stern now. Somehow he's got in between two players. Stern and plays it back now to Brunt. This is an opening. Ryan Brunt, first shot as well charged down from the defence. I think it was McLaren going back there and a shot from distance in the end from... James Morton, man, he get to open account for Bath City, but bright start for the Romans. Here it is, Morel Williamson. Is it back? Oh, he's inside now, there's a chance. Oh, he's well blocked. It was Wellard with a slight opening. There's Rigg, avoid the challenge of Dundas, and he's allowed to go forward now, Sean Rigg. Inside to Mann on the edge of the penalty, Adam Mann. 
shoots and drags it just across the face of goal before Ryan Brunt can react. But again, good chance there for the Bath City side. Both teams looking for their first win of the season. New look Hampton side. Here's Sean Rigg. Plays it through to Brunt and shot on the turn. I think he had more time than he was aware of there. Ryan Brunt. And he's dragged it around two yards wide. No danger for Lovelock in the Hampton goal. Wellard plays out to this left-hand side. Now to Joseph. Watch from Reigns. Going to try and get the other side of his man. Zach Joseph draws it across. Goal! And it's met from Dixon. That was probably the most difficult chance he's had, to be fair. Morton all over on the far side from us at the moment. City have lost out as Joseph charges forward. Morton is trying to keep up with him. He can't. Joseph now, one on one. Can he shoot across the goal? And it's wide. It's another good opening for Hampton. I'm not sure whether he was going for the shot or cross. And it's missed the target. City breathe a sigh of relief. Here's Riggs. Stern screaming for it on the left. And they will receive it. He does. He might want to check inside now, Stern. Face by two men, gets a dangerous point all just over the head of Andy Watkins. Brunt keeps it in, I think, and it's gone behind. Here's Rigg with the corner, left-footed towards the six-yard box. It's for Cundy, it's a bit of a muddle in there. Cundy all nearly got shot away. It was cleared in the end from Bray. It's now picked up from Batten. Just past halfway line. Over to the right-hand side where Brunt chess plays it inside. It's a free tackle from Watkins and excellent reaction from Lovelock. Really caught out the goalkeeper, Andy Watkins, ever so close to breaking the deadlock in this game. Rig with a corner to his near post. So Eggleton beats his goalkeeper to it. He's headed it as far as Stern now. Might try and get into a shooting position. He sends another dangerous ball in, inadvertently flicked from a Hampton man. It's just back to Rigg again, the taker, approaching the penalty area. Sean Rigg now, left foot in delivery. Oh, oh what a yeah. goal from Sean Rigg! Find space for himself. Lovell can't believe the defence in closing down. No one was going to close down that venomous effort into the corner of the net. 61 minutes gone. Well, Hampton and Richmond nil. Bath City won. That's what you always see. I mean, it, it all resulted from that uh, fantastic save from Andy Watkins' header. And then from the corner, the ball gets eventually to clear. Comes out of Sean Rigg on the left-hand side of the penalty area, right in the corner of the penalty area. He swivels into the penalty area, uses his left foot and strikes a cracking shot just inside the far post. That was sheer class. Wellard, another towering presence in midfield, wins it back off Rigg. Sends a much better ball in. It's headed over the bar. It's Dixon again, who's had another opening. He could have taken home at least two match balls this afternoon. Couldn't get underneath it. Riggs after this one. Everton goes flying in. Sean Riggs stays on his feet, which perhaps has cost him a free kick. The ball stayed in play, in fact. There's a direct ball inside. It's Dixon again. He's gone down. I think there was a challenge from Batten after the ball had gone out of play. It was a bit late from Batten. I'm not sure if it sort of should be any contentions for a penalty, but he clearly caught Dixon, who has gone down holding his face. Yeah, I think the ball was quite high. Batten put his leg up, probably not quite chest high, and as Dixon came in, uh, he sort of went down with his head a bit. I, I, there's nothing intentional on that one. I think just Dixon sort of clattered into him a bit. Sprague finds the substitute Torian Roberts on the left-hand side. One of the, what, the only player left over from Hampton from last season. Roberts looking to make a cross away from Reigns, and Reigns does well to just stand up to him. And then eventually does shuffle around him there. Roberts across to the back post, looking for a pass or a bicycle. Get a header, flying header, and a superb save by Ryan Clark again down to his right. It's a real opportunity there for um, Hampton and Richmond by Joseph, but it was a fine save in the end. Torian Roberts again picking it up on the left, and he wins a corner this time. He's looked very bright since he's come on, on the, in the ascendancy here with Dundas now. He's had to come wide to receive the ball. Crosses it into the back post, met by City, and then fired over the top by Roberts. Uchechi now finds himself in a good position, 10 yards inside the City. Half of a lovely ball over the top to Dixon, who does get on the end of it, and then... A little bit Bambi-esque as he went for it there, just trying to nudge it towards goal. Didn't really look very confident and with his right foot sort of edged it wide. City lead by a goal to nil here at Hampton and Richmond. And Uchechi has managed to beat his opposite number down on the, on the left-hand side of the touchline and then it's cut out by Cundy. Touched off to Wellard, he rolls it to the left-hand side and Uchechi looking to get a cross in again. Cutting in on his right foot, which he prefers, and he's dipped it to the back post there. Headed back by Robertson, really well claimed again by Ryan Clark, who probably has been City's standout performer this afternoon. 
cleared by Cundy. Oh, no. Not a very good clearance. That's put City under unnecessary pressure. Eggleton will look to try and get across into the box as the minutes tick by. But again, it's too close to Ryan Clark. Claims it very comfortably. Goes down on the ball, and you have to think that might be the last chance of the afternoon. The block clears, and that is indeed the last action. Greeted with a huge cheer and perhaps a, a bit of a sigh of relief as well. Sean Riggs' goal on 62 minutes, drilled into the far corner. Slightly against the run of play at the time, but Hampton and Richmond very wasteful in front of goal. And Bar City pick up a very, very hard-earned and much-needed three points this afternoon at the Beavery. The first time they've ever won here, Bob Chester. Yeah, and uh, I think, uh, you know, when you look at the run of the three games, and City got their first win, uh, I suppose you could have said a draw here would have been a fair result. Uh, and we should have got something at Torquay, and we should have got something against Dartford. So perhaps we've been slightly on the fortunate side here, but um, at the end of the day, the luck evens itself out over 42 games, and uh, it's good to get points on the board, and hopefully we'll get a good crowd against Gloucester on Tuesday night. And then we've got Dulwich, so two home games, and if we can win those two, uh, we'll have had a steady start, I think, because those first two fixtures were really tough where we got nothing from. So we will see you on Tuesday from me, Sam Stevens, Mark Stillman, Bob Chester. It's finished here, Hampton and Richmond nil, Bar City 1. And we wish you all a very good evening.